Hi, it's Xavier here over at Our Homeschool Scholars, and today I will be doing an unboxing of the Abeka Books second grade homeschool curriculum. So we chose the um, Abeka Academy that's teacher-led, and we will get um, the parent handouts. So the packaging is very solid and neat. That is how it looks. These are the videos, DVDs, and here is another box of the same books as I have two second graders. We are doing a Becca Academy and this will be the grade two video kit that I'll be showing you all the unboxing for. Um, yeah, as I was mentioning, I have two second graders. Um, one is seven, my son is seven, he'll be eight in October and my daughter is six, she'll be seven in August. So yes, they are somewhat like Irish twins, but their birthdays are in different years and they ended up in the same grade. They're 10 months apart. So nevertheless, I have two of everything, but I'm not showing you guys, you know, both sets. I'll just be showing you one set. Um, our items just arrived this morning, which is a few days earlier from the um, estimated shipping time. So Rebecca did really well with getting us our items like a few days ahead. So I do commend them on that. So this is the health and safety and manners second grade edition. I don't know if I'm going to turn the camera around or not. So yeah, it has health and safety facts. Then I like this crossword puzzle here. They give you stories about health and safety and I love the um, feel of the pages it's not that rough feel it's a soft feel and the color is very good I haven't even done an inventory check yet but I am going to do that once I'm done with the video so that I can make sure that I do have everything so this is the reading to answer key for the parent to follow along it's very detailed and vivid this is another answer to key for phonics and languages second grade level I love the spiral bound so it'll be easy to flip and turn This particular book here is the teacher key. And as you flip through, it gives you the answers and us as parents are able to follow along and assist our children when necessary. Here, the answers will vary. So yes, they left that blank. And I just love the color and the feel of the pages and how everything is laid out. So that's a quick flip through of that. Dictation. Next is the phonics and language two. We just saw the answer key for this book. So this is the child's book itself. Very thick pages or a thick book rather with lots of work with that this is the arithmetic two book and when choosing a curriculum this year we wanted to go with something that is already um you know put together a pre-packaged curriculum basically we didn't want to have to put our own curriculum together we're not trying to reinvent the wheel when it comes to um, homeschooling our students in the main um, core subjects. We just want uh, wanted to find get something that is already there for us, uh, for that'll work for us in our homeschool. And I'm familiar with Abeka because um, growing up I went to a private school and they used the Abeka curriculum from K through eighth grade. So that's how I'm familiar with Abeka. I kind of remember the layout and I just remember being taught with the Abeka books and Abeka curriculum. So that's one reason I opted or we opted for this um, 
curriculum because I know there's many different ones out there. And our oldest two second graders are coming out of magnet school and that magnet school was based off organization and accelerated learning. So they were in first grade learning on a second grade level. In the upcoming school year, they will, would be in second grade learning, learning on a third grade level. So with choosing a curriculum, I wanted my kids to be in second grade, but learning on a level ahead, which I know that Abeka will provide that because it's, I've heard a lot of um, opinions and people say that it's pretty advanced or they teach a great level ahead. So I definitely wanted that for my students as well. And these are some of the pages here that you'll see through the page. From flipping through, it looks as if it'll start you off, you know, super basic in a review from first grade year. And as you gradually go on, you'll be learning new things and learning how to add with double digits and things of that nature. These are some of the pages in the second grade arithmetic book. Write the missing add-ins. They have the temperatures with the thermometer. I see a little coloring on a few pages. This looks like a maze. So definitely a lot of seat work. Roman numerals. I definitely remember learning that with the Becca. So I'm definitely impressed with just the pages and the color. And it's not bland black and white. I do like that. Oh, here we have near the end of the book. What page is this? 276. They have division and multiplication. Next up is the second grade writing tablet. We opted for the manuscript this year. And I do remember their teachers from last year saying that second semester they would be learning um, penmanship or cursive handwriting um, in second semester of second grade. So, so we'll be incorporating... Um, cursive handwriting somehow this um, school year. I'm not sure exactly how we'll do it, but that will be on their um, agenda as well since they would have been doing it at their um, school. All right, so here we have the spelling and poetry, fourth edition for second grade. I know that they have lots of poems to learn. Spelling, unscramble the words, vocabulary words, circle which word is misspelled. Here are the poems in the back of the book, Our Country's Flag by Kate Brown, The Lamplighter by Robert L. Stevenson. And back here, a homework says copy the list on tablet paper. Okay. Same thing here. They have it. Okay. And... Cursive and me no cursive and what is it? <laughs> I just drew a blank. And they have the words in cursive or print, depending on which one you write with. I can't wait to teach the kids cursive because cursive to me was so much easier um, to write and learn. And we learned cursive from as far as I remember in K four pre K. I ended up just starting to write in cursive. Um, and print just actually came about as I went along. But I said this year I'm just going to start them, you know, with what they know, which is print. And we'll gradually get into cursive handwriting. So that is the spelling and poetry too. Now this is the reading comprehension parent edition skill sheets. For the parent to follow along. I hope you guys can see that the answer key and it gives us tips on what to do and how to help our student. Neat, neat. Now we have the arithmetic to work text 
the teacher key edition. That goes along with the arithmetic two book over here. This is the teacher key for history, science, and health, which I have yet to show you guys the history, science, and health book, kids book, but I will in one second. It has the answers to all the crossword puzzles. All right, and here is the history, science, and health activity book, grade two. Telling you about parts of a plant, the parts of a tooth, science tools, constellations. They get to draw their own constellations. Then answer the questions. Numerous crossword puzzles about caring for your body and hand washing. Safety first. We have the reading comprehension skill sheets, grade two. Read the story, answer the question. I'm really excited about the reading comprehension. That's a big deal at this grade and age. And now on to our readers. We have a couple of more books before we get to the readers. So this is the Our America 5th edition history and geography reader. Sorry about the glare. I love the pictures on the front. It's very um, diverse with the students. Abraham Lincoln is in here. of the American flag, the Liberty Bell, the New England Primer, Colonial Life, has the 13 original colonies over there. It's talking about pilgrims. And then this is the science reader for second grade, Enjoying God's World. This is the fifth edition as well. Going through. I see a lot of good things that I'm excited for them to learn about. The kids are at love sharks. They've been talking about it since Shark Week recently passed. It's talking about your heart, your bones, and muscles. So, yes. Now on to our readers. So, the first one is Through the Skies. They have at least... A lot of readers here. <laughs> Growing Up Where Jesus Lived, third edition. And yes, I also chose Abeka books because they incorporate the biblical aspect into the curriculum. And I did want that for the kids as well. My New Name, All Things New. We have Wonders of Imagination. All Kinds of Animals, the fourth edition. This is the primary Bible reader. I definitely remember this one here. We had to read this every day or it was a part of the lesson every day. And different teachings and parables from the Bible and about Jesus. I remember that. And that was years ago, you guys. <laughs> we got Handbook for Reading, the fourth edition, Phonics Textbook. Fun with Friends. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, so it has stories from different narrations and points of view. And they give you the um, questions at the end to think about. And give your answer. No answer is wrong or right. They have vocabulary, spelling words, words to practice. Oops. From the story. Okay, and it tells you words to look for when you're reading before you get to start reading. 
So yeah, different fiction stories. It tells you the parts of a story. Fun with friends. Then we have Quest for Adventure for second grade reading. Then we also have Growing Up Around the World. I love how they have this African-American young lady on the front cover. So this looks like a book about diversity. Really great. Okay, so they have talking about Switzerland. So maybe different countries around the world. Different cultures. Neat, neat. We also have Growing Up in Early America. Great cover. And Across the Meadow. And those are all of the readers for second grade. Um, the second grade. A Becca level. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven readers for the year. Okay, so what else did they give us? I'm trying to get it out, you guys. We have the um, grades one to two cursive formation flashcards. Okay, so they still gave us the flashcards for cursive, even though we chose the manuscript print edition. They have those, and then okay, the art projects fourth edition. For second grade different art projects for them to do so in the art book they give they give you the scope and sequence concepts and techniques of what different things mean also on the next page I noticed that okay on this page they give you a glossary of the art terminology so different art words they give you the definitions like color wheel, color coding, color family. My um, six-year-old Riley loves art, so she would definitely enjoy this. It looks like the first art project. Oh, no, this is talking about the color wheel. Okay. It tells you the pages and the year supply. Also, they give you a yearly supply list of everything that you will need to do all of the art projects in the book i like that okay so you'll be up ahead, stay ahead of what you need before you get to that particular art project and it looks like it may have the pages so you're making a wagon okay i like that really neat I saw something where you're okay. This is a snow globe. Something in the back. I saw they're making a like, shading in a snowflake, and then they had the double symmetry design. This is really cool. So these art projects are definitely second grade level. I approve already. We're gonna have fun making these things. This is a self portrait. So that's basically what the art book looks like and entails. Oh, a Mother's Day cake. How cute. Okay. So that's what the art book in entails for second grade. And this is the um, inventory list. So I have to check and make sure that I have all the things on the list. So I'm going to go and do that now. And one last thing. These are the grade two DVD lessons because we are doing the Becca Academy as mentioned before teacher led and I do have two students so we got two of each here's the one through 60 and here's the other one and from my understanding as you um, complete lessons and once the next semester begins they'll send you the second half of the DVDs um, long as your account is current and everything is up to date so they don't send all of the uh, DVDs at once which is totally fine with us and it looks like I missed something so I'm gonna go ahead and open the DVD packaging so we can get out the writing with phonics and I want to show you all the um, manila folder envelopes they sent so that we can 
we can send the um, progress reports in because we will have to send in progress reports for certain um, items to be graded. So this is the mailing envelopes that they sent us for each student. We have two sets, of course, and it has a Becca Academy on it. And I believe I will have to purchase my own stamps for this as well. So Hello. next we have the Phonics and Language 2 test booklet. I don't know how I forgot about all, almost forgot about these. So the test look like test and they're named, uh, they're labeled by number. So this is what test 16 looks like. You all can see that. So we have two of those. And we have the arithmetic two test and speed drill key. I remember these vividly. This is definitely what helped me in math. So this is the answer key to the test and speed drills. I guess I already showed you all the speed drills because this is just the answers for it. And we have our writing with phonics two creative penmanship creative writing handbook. Oh, so they will be doing a lot of creative writing. It's in cursive, which, okay. So I guess at some point they will be learning cursive with the second grade curriculum. I'm not sure, but we will see. Here it says copy the poem and the warm up is letter L. And you'll copy the point. I'm fascinated with these looks. Look at the color. My husband over there, he looks fascinated too. So yeah. Y'all oh. hear him saying ooh? I love my books and pictures. You love your books or pictures? What does that mean? No, some people like books with just pure words. Yeah, and I like ours with color pictures. So I'm definitely glad Rebecca gave us color pictures, not the black and white. Yes. So here it says, write a story about Francis Scott Key. And they give you plenty of space to write the whole page. And it gives you pictures, colorful pictures to the little right. It does, pictures makes it where it's not so boring in my opinion, definitely for kids, because you want to keep it exciting, colorful. So yes, that is all. I thank you so much for watching our video of uh, the Becca second grade unboxing, and stay tuned because I will be doing the kindergarten of Becca Academy unboxing as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Happy homeschooling. One more thing, I did find the arithmetic two test and speed drills. The second grade, I believe I left this off. So this is what the test looked like. It has the written grade and the oral grade at the top. They'll be testing you on what you've learned. And let's see the back. Oh yeah, so it goes all the way to page 120 plus. And also underneath here is the test key for the phonics and language that I left out as well. You have the grade section at the top, the test key there, and the test and speed drill key as well. So I did leave those out mistakenly from the second grade curriculum unboxing. And these are just a few of the um, important information from Abeka themselves if you have any questions or anything about returning the information so they do box these curriculums up and give you everything that you possibly need 
plus more to have an awesome school year. So I'm definitely grateful for that.